Williams, Brady with a double team constantly. Juwan from the outside missed it, tipped up and in by Matumbo. Remember, when Yao Ming was injured, fellas, in the middle of the season, Matumbo had some big, big games for the Rockets. He averaged 11 rebounds during that stretch. And blocked a lot of shots. Oh, cool. Kicks a three. It's only his third three-pointer of the season. Of the postseason. Three for 17 now for Mehmet Okur. Luther Head back out to McGrady. McGrady way off the mark. Matumbo gets it. Back out to Rafer. Rafer sets for a three. In and out. Tipped up and almost in by Jawan Howard. Two-point Jazz lead. 6.25 left in the second quarter. Aaron Williams gets behind the pick by Okor and hits. You can't let him run, you know, eight or nine points in a row on you. And the Rockets now have got to score. Got to get something going to the basket here. And a foul on Kirilenko, and that's the fifth team foul on the Jazz, and McGrady will go to the free throw line. When the ball handler is faced up to the basket outside of the paint, you can't touch him. What the Jazz have been doing is they've been getting up in Tracy McGrady's space and grabbing him and holding him. Watch here. There's the arm bar right there. You're not allowed to do that. Any touching is supposed to be a foul. The officials have not been calling that this series. That's the first time I've seen it called. Of course, Tracy is struggling from the field. He's only one for six. And now he misses his first free throw. This is one of those games where he's got to get into it and lead his team. He's getting off to a slow start, but there's a lot of game left. One of the leaders in the NBA in three-point shooting this year. He's made only three. McGrady. And got it. That's what he needs to do. In transition before the defense is set, take over. 32-31. Aaron Williams getting it down to Boozer. Boozer will shoot it. Over Matumbo. Matumbo gave up a lot of room there. Matumbo's a good defender, but Boozer's so quick off the dribble. He has to respect that. Brady. T-Mac to the rack. Boy, I'm glad I got to say that. Let's see more of it. <laughs> On this last play, what Kirilenko shades him to his right, right there, T-Mac just explodes to the basket. A player like T-Mac, you cannot shade him one way or the other. He's too good with either hand. That was a great job by T-Mac of recognizing that defense and taking what he could get. McGrady shoots it from the right elbow. And he was hit on the right elbow. A lot of contact, no foul. Williams, back outside to Harper. And the Jazz with their biggest lead of the game, seven points. Jeff Van Gundy calls a timeout. 202 left to play. I guess the shoulder was not hurting that bad for Fisher. Boozer. This is slam dunk. Who's it with eight points? Utah Jazz have not only been more aggressive taking the ball to the basket, but they've been more aggressive going after the loose balls. All right, with the post up now, they're putting Fisher on McGrady. McGrady is fouled, and it almost went in. Just keep milking it when it's working. Keep milking it. Even if Chuck Hayes makes a cut through the lane, give him more room to operate. Tracy McGrady, they, they cannot stop him on the low block. Especially when he's aggressive, like he is at this moment, going to the basket. Why would you put a bigger guy on him like Millsap if he's going to post up? Well, no, because then he just take Millsap outside. Exactly. You just keep making moves. Chess moves. All right, McGrady wants it posting up again. 
He's got it. The work on Fisher. Little bump by Fisher. It didn't stop him. Millsap tackled Yao Ming. That's up Shane. Extra pass to Austin. Down to McGrady. McGrady to Hayes. Yes. 27 seconds left, and the Rockets are down by three. You see what happens when you get McGrady, McGrady going on the low post. He makes his teammates better because he's going to score, but he's going to create opportunities for guys like Chuck Hayes and Shane Battier. Get him the ball. The Rockets seem like they're playing with a little more urgency now. Difference of about three seconds. Shot clock, game clock. Shot clock down to five seconds. Williams taking it inside for two. Goodness, that was easy. Five seconds left. Down to three. Down to two. Hayes has to shoot it. Wait a minute. Grady ended up with 13 points, 12 for Yao Ming. And uh, at the half, it's the Jazz 50, the Rockets 45. Stay with us. Tonight's Lexus Halftime Report comes your way after the break. Points on five of eight shooting. He also has five rebounds, but in the post, he has been very effective. They've been late double teaming him, and with Collins, they've been playing him one on one. So Collins can't stop him if Yao takes his time and gets the shot that he wants. Great entry passes are important as well. That's effectiveness for, for Yao. Well, you look at Tracy McGrady, he's 4 for 10. Here he is working out on the low block. 4 for 10 with 13 points. And this is how he did it. Posting, he's aggressive. Look at him going to the basket, creating the foul, almost getting the three-point play. Again, Fisher is too small. Turn, jumper, nothing but net. You got to milk that. Get Yao and Tracy. Grayson misses, and Yao with a rebound. Missed it. Finger roll in the paint in the playoffs. Uh, go throw that down. It should dunk that. Yeah, tear Not going to get many open looks like that. Aaron Williams. Jazz have all the answers. 6 0 run by Utah. Now the Yao Ming turns baseline. Hit it. All in one motion. He got wide open then, fellas. He could have walked in for the layup. He didn't, he didn't know it. <laughs> they played just over three minutes into the third quarter. Oh, Pirolinko threw it right to Hayes. Now oh, taking it in and over Okur for two more. There's three still. Okur in double figures tonight. Down to Yao again. Okur. Knocks it away. Fisher. Williams. Basket counts. And the foul on Battier. Again, the Jazz more aggressive on this fast break. Good defense by Okura, and then they just turn around and run it down the rocket's throat. Shane didn't get his feet set. What a great shot by Williams. He's pumped up. That's the kind of plays that gets you the lead in this series. Absolutely, Matt. But if you notice, Yao had the ball coming from his waistline. We've got to get that ball up over his head.